world's first biological computer that fuses human brain cells with silicon hardware to form fluid neural networks has been commercially launched. The CL1 from Australian company Cortical Labs offers a new kind of computing intelligence known as synthetic biological intelligence. Yeah. Cortical's CL1 system was officially launched in Barcelona on March 2nd, 2025, and is expected to be a game changer for science and medical research. The human cell neural networks that form on the silicon chip are essentially an ever-evolving organic computer. And the engineers behind it says, say it learns so quickly and flexibly that it completely outpaces the silicon-based AI chips used to train existing lang large language models such as ChatGPT. Cortical Lab CEO shared that they are offering wetware as a service where customers will be able to buy the CL1 biocomputer outright or simply buy the time on the chips, assessing them remotely to work with the cultured cell technology via the cloud. Johannes, given your semiconductor background, why, what do you feel this innovation will enable? Well, Tiffany, what we're looking at here is literally a biological computer, something fundamentally different from traditional AI systems. Instead of programming a neural network on a GPU, we're growing a living neural network directly on the chip. The key advantage, real-time learning. This system doesn't rely on pre-written code or static data sets. It learns by interacting with its environment, adjusting its own connections, effectively programming itself on the fly. In trials, it was able to learn tasks like playing Pong in just minutes based purely on live feedback. Another major benefit is energy efficiency. Biological neurons perform complex com computations using far less power. The human brain, for example, runs on about 20 watts. Compare that to today's massive AI data centers, which consume megawatts. The CL1 system uses only somewhere between 30 and 33 watts, making it a powerful alternative for energy constant applications. So what we're seeing is the emergence of a new computing paradigm, one that's adaptive, efficient and potentially transformative across robotics, AI, and sustainable tech. 